Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Oxyfuel cutting is a combustion process. To help better understand the safety rules for handling oxyfuel equipment, it is important to understand the fundamentals of combustion and how they apply to oxyfuel operations. In order to have combustion, you need three basic elements, fuel, oxygen, and heat. If any of these elements are missing, combustion will not occur. Oxyfuel operations allow you to cut, weld, gouge, braze, and heat metal through a chemical reaction. Fuel is used to create a preheat flame that raises the temperature of the metal. The metal needs to reach its kindling temperature, which for carbon steel is 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the kindling temperature is reached, the high purity oxygen is added to create the combustion chemical reaction, which oxidizes the material. There are various types of fuel gases that can be used in an oxyfuel operation, which each have different characteristics relating to combustion. The oxygen available in the air we breathe is about 21% pure by volume. High purity oxygen, like the kind used in oxyfuel operations, is greater than 99.5% pure by volume. For steel to burn, you need more than simple atmospheric oxygen. High purity oxygen is a combustion accelerant. Notice how this piece of steel wool burns using the small candle and atmospheric air. Now let's see what happens when pure oxygen is introduced into this combustion process. As you can see, the greater the oxygen purity, the faster and hotter the fuel will burn. Understanding the fundamentals of combustion and the effect of high purity oxygen allows for the safe and proper use of oxyfuel equipment. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in our how-to video series to learn how to safely and effectively operate oxyfuel equipment.